Hello, ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today we are going to do this for Thanksgiving. I am a huge Thanksgiving fan. It's my very, very favorite holiday. I decided to go all out and do super glam, false lashes. Okay, so before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button so I can continue to make great content for you here on YouTube. Okay, let's get going. So to start off with, I use three different products to plump up my skin and add hydration, and I love these. They're truth treatments, so I'm gonna use the Transdermal C Serum, best serum on the market in my opinion, Biomimetic Mist, which helps the efficacy of these products to get them down deeper beneath um, the top layer of your skin, and I'm also gonna use Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator, and as you know, Hyaluronic Acid plumps up the skin. And then the foundation I'm gonna use also has Hyaluronic Acid in it, which is also gonna help to plump, because it's all about plumping. Everything else in my body I don't wanna have plumped, right? <laughs> It's like, can I have a deep plumper for like my booty, right? If you watch me, you know, I love aging. Look in the mirror, love your wrinkles, love who you are. Give yourself unconditional love every single day. And you know, you can use your plumping stuff too. All right, so two drops of each one of these products, which is super minimal, right? You don't need a whole heck of a lot. Oh, I just love putting this on. I wish I could roll in it, take a bath in it. I mean, just to have your whole body feel like this. Oh. All right, now that my skin is like having a little dance party, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of primer just to keep it on all day long. I don't know if you're like me, but I put my makeup on in the morning because I'm gonna be cooking and doing stuff all day and it needs to last, so I'm using some Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Primer. All right, next I'm gonna use that hyaluronic foundation that I um, talked to you about earlier. This is called By Terry. I just recently got this from Skin Store, and I, I really like Skin Store, so do check them out. But they sell By Terry on their website, and this has hyaluronic acid in it. So what that does is, when you put it on, it helps to plump up your skin. And I like to put these on my hand. I've seen videos where, where people like drip them down their face. I'm too messy of a person to do that. All right, in my opinion, this foundation is a tiny bit too light for me. I'm still outside a lot. I'm still, you know, it's fall here. My body is still fairly tan, so it's a tiny bit light. So I'm gonna color correct this a bit with some bronzer, so we'll we'll do that. All right, so I'm gonna do a little concealer. We're gonna use my Cogendo concealer. I really love Cogendo if you've never tried any of their products. It's, this, their stuff is so delicious, it's so beautiful. All right, a little bit goes a long way, just doing dots, and then I just tap it in. This is the great thing about, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna toot my horn here, about having an older woman who knows makeup teaching you this, is that I'm not gonna use a huge amount. I've seen younger women on YouTube take their concealer and just put a thick line like all the way and the thick line and then they use their blending sponges it is not appropriate for older women okay just if you have one of those sponges give it a ceremony and then chop it up in the itty bitty little tiny tiny pieces and put it in the garbage or burn it the only reason i would use those is like on say you have some big age spots then i would use that to really get the product into it if you want to go that far you can also just use your finger These are freckles, okay? So don't go judging my freckles. You really have to just tap. You can't rub, you have to tap it in. So that's what you do instead of doing the Beauty Blender sponge. Also, you can go back and layer with your foundation. So you could do several layers under your eye with foundation and that can also help with dark circles. I wanna use as little concealer as possible because this is a denser product than a foundation. So I that's why I start with foundation and then I go on to the concealer because I wanna use as little concealer as humanly possible. All right, next I'm gonna do some brows. So I have Color Science here. I like Color Science. Again, this is on Skin Store, but this is some nice array of colors, whoops, where you can use, you know, I'm gonna mix this one with a little bit of the warmer color because the, my hair is, you know, I've got a mixture of warm and dark. I don't wanna go super dark on it. Um, comes with a little brush in there and some other nice colors to use, so. So for me, I'm just gonna fill in that outer edge. I like using powder for eyebrows because it's a really, really soft look. I'm not a big fan of those really heavily chiseled brows for older women. I'm really not. I don't think it's flattering on our faces. If you wanna do it, go ahead. I'm just giving you my opinion. All 
right, so I put concealer and foundation on my lids because I have a lot of lid discoloration, which I'm sure you can see. So I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and I'm gonna powder around my eyes with a brush. I'm using Ben Nye, whoops, Fair Powder here. I love this, it's not expensive, very sheer and light, doesn't build up on the skin if you need to powder, if you have oily skin. And I'm just using a little brush here because I don't want to put it, A, I don't want to put it on heavily or get it in my hair or B, I don't want to get it all over my face. I just want it right there. All right, next I'm going to do a little bit of contour. Now I'm going to use a shiny product. Now some of you are like, no, if you feel like this doesn't work on your skin, obviously don't, but I'm going to add shimmer kind of going along with everything I use. So this is not really a contour or a bronzer. It's just some really nice colors that you can use how you want. This is Bobbi Brown, but I like it because it does add a little bit of shimmer and you know, I like a little shimmer. Okay. So I'm going to go just slightly underneath my cheekbones here, just a little bit underneath. If you have a really thin face, I think just ignore this part. I think the thinner your face, the less you need any contour at all. I'm gonna do a little bit over my eyelid. I'm just looking to add some dimension to my face. See how that just added like a nice framework? And I put it under my chin, for those of you paying attention. For these little lovely jobbies here that we all have, you just go like this. Totally works. For lips, I'm gonna use a matte long wear lipstick by Jane Iredale. So I really love these. These are really awesome because they stay on. I am a lip eater. I'm like this the whole day, nothing stays on my lips. These stay on. I can put these on two hours later, I'll look in the mirror and go, wow, I didn't eat it off. I don't have a lipstick tree growing in my gut. All right, I did lipstick first. Now I'm doing lip liner. This is Spice Lip Liner by Jane Iredell. I'm gonna use quite a few Jane Iredell products. I really love Jane Iredell, plus it's clean beauty, so yay. It's just a really lovely mauvey pinky color. All right, now I'm gonna put a little lip gloss on top. So this is City Lips by City Beauty. I did a recent product review of this particular line. They have some really, really exciting, great products that I definitely recommend that are priced really well. So this contains hyaluronic acid and helps to plump your lips. So this is a clear one, comes in different colors. Shiny lips. Okay, a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use Barely Rose, is that what it's called? Just a little bit of blush, because I don't want to be overly pink here. Okay, so we're on to eyes, and I am going to get up close and personal with the camera. Okay, so for starters, we're going to do a little bit of color in the waterline. So I'm going to use this Stila Waterproof Eye Pencil, which if you're going to go on the waterline, you really need waterproof. And I love doing the waterline because it really makes your eyes pop out, and it's like a secret trick I use where it makes your eyes pop without putting a ton of makeup on. If you want to put some in the lower waterline, you can. I'm not going to on this particular makeup because we're really going to focus on the top because we're going to use some false lashes by Pink Zio, which I'm, I love. So we're going to do a liner on the top and I'm going to blend it because I'm not a big fan of lines. So in other words, I do a line and you can really see the line. I'm going to really blend it out and make it look soft. So I'm going to use a Jane Iredell. This is called Smoky Quartz. Um, this is a gel liner, so you put it on and you have to blend it really quickly, otherwise it does dry. So we're going to do this, and this is like a charcoal, because I'm going for some drama on the eyes, because, you know, it's Thanksgiving, we have to be a little dramatic. So I'm going to pull my eye a little bit. If you're squeamish, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to put this right next to the lashes. The container for this particular product comes with its own la its own applicator but i like to use my own i like a little bit of a longer handle in case you wonder what i'm up to and i'm just putting this between my lashes
Now it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see because I'm going to go back in and I'm going to blend it a little. So this is a really nice dense charcoal. And I'm also not going to wing it. You can do wing eyeshadow and liner on older women. I'm not a huge fan of it because uh, sometimes it can age us. So if you can see, I put the outer edge as thicker and darker than I did on the inner, and that helps to pull the eye up. And with false lashes, this is really going to pop. It's going to be pretty. For eyeshadow, we're going to use this palette. This is called Naturally Glam by Jane Iredell. So these are all with a little bit of shimmery stuff. So I'm going to start with this color right here, and I'm going to do this in the crease. I'm going to do a little bit of pink in the outer edge, and I'm going to blend out the outer edge and underneath with this color. So I'm using nearly every single color, and I think actually I might pop the center with that little bit of gold. A little bit of the pink here on the outer edge. dark brown I'm going to put underneath. And I'm going to use that same color just in the outer edge. And I'm going to take it up just a little bit right in here. Again, we're going for glamour. So that dark brown just kind of worked in right here. It's going to help to highlight that outer edge of my eye. I'm going to take that dark brown a little over because I can still see some of the line from the eyeliner and I like the eyeliner because I want the density of it right because that's what eyeliner does it really adds a density that's going to really open up your eye but if you can see that line then I think to soften it down is really good which is what I'm doing here see I just put that eyeshadow right on top of it and that instantly took out that line all right I'm going to put a little bit of shiny bit right on the lid So I've used about four colors, five colors there. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some Pink Zio lashes. So I love Pink Zio. Do check them out if you're a lash fan. These are long lasting, they're vegan, they're wonderful. Look at that. All right, so these are called A Game. So let's get our A Game on and go to Thanksgiving dinner, shall we? So this is the look with the false lashes. And as you can see, it really pops it with the false lashes. When you're putting it on, sometimes it can look a little heavy. But after you use it with the lashes and everything else, it looks really, really pretty and really striking. All right, I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you give it a go. Go for some glitter, go for some false lashes, go for some beautiful shiny lips. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. It's not 2020 anymore. Let's just do it up big, okay? Let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear from you. And also your plans for Thanksgiving. What are you doing on Thanksgiving? Are you going somewhere? Are you hosting? Uh, whatever it is, I hope it's fantastic. And I send you all my love. Um, for just a wonderful um, holiday season. All right, thank you so much for watching.